Hi guys, Cranky Kaz here. And the Sherbster. And we're back with more Yakuza 3. Sherbster's reaction lenses are quite dark as you can see. We've just been out for a walk, the squish is down for a nap. And given the whole virus situation, we just need to crack on with recording when we can before she wakes up. So we're finally going to Kamurocho, we think. I'm just going to talk to Haruka. Isn't your flight soon? Oh yeah. Let me know when you're going to leave. Okay, I'll get the others to come say goodbye. Or are you leaving now? It's time to go. It's time to go. Okay. Finally. Feels hmm. like forever. Yep. I'm going on a journey. I'll be back soon. What's that, no, you're not. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm Oh, oh, it's it's her. I've forgotten her name. I've forgotten her name because we've had two weeks off playing, but Saki. Saki. Thank you. Saki. Oh. Thank you. Oh. 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 <laughs> Do you think she'll start talking? I think it'll probably happen at some point towards the end of the game, I reckon. You got this, Haruka. I love the fact he's dressed himself in exactly the same suit. Go to Kamurocho. Stay safe out there, Uncle Kaz, and everyone else watching. I will. Here's your ticket. Ah. You bought me a plane ticket? Mm-hmm. You deserve a present after how much you've been helping everyone. Aww. How does she have the money? I was just about to ask that question, yeah. Hey, Kat. By the way, I'm going to go into town to get some stuff for dinner. Maybe we can go together until you have to leave. I'd like that. I would like that, because we haven't been taking yeah. her into town, have we? Cat, right by the microphone. Again, come on, here. You're growing up so fast. She <clears throat> is. Yep. Anyway, where are you headed? The public market downtown. They have a lot of stuff there, and it's all super cheap. Okay, come on. Come on, chick, let's go. Uh, okay. What? <laughs> Classic Cheesy Yakuza. sub story, <laughs> yep. <clears throat> what the? Okay, we're like five minutes in and I'm loving it. They're <laughs> just standing there and it's all like, what? <laughs> um. <laughs> God knows. There's just no escaping those two, huh? But the real question is, what the heck are they doing in front of our house? Well, my question was, who the heck are they? You're gonna find out. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, you're that guy from Kamurocho. I remember you. Do you recognise us? Should uh, we? Yes, apparently. You're still How together I somehow. Not? I see you're still together. I, guys, I can't remember who these people are. Don't tell Mizuki, me you want to get... I remember the name. Yeah. Don't tell me you want to get between me and my amazing Mizuki-chan. Sorry, but this angel is mine. Actually, I just want to make sure you're trying... Oh! oh cat. Sit properly and stop clawing my leg. Are you quite finished? <laughs> the things like... The conditions I have to work in... Actually, I just want to make sure you're not going to try kill yourself again. I have enough to deal with without, without you lovebirds getting into trouble in front of my orphanage. 
Kill myself? Why would I do that? Mizuki-chan and I have always had a wonderfully close relationship, right? <laughs> Seriously, I can't remember who this dude is. We must have met him in Kamurocho then. Yeah. It's part of the loan I took out for our wedding, though we haven't officially tied the knot yet. Why do I feel like this is bad news? We're just engaged. Hmm, I feel like she's a gold digger. You'll still need to leave though, I hate to break it to you, but this beach isn't open to the public. Not to mention the fact it's not even beach season. Season. Go frolic somewhere else. What gives? It's not like this beach belongs to you or anything. This frolicking is going to make a great story to tell our kids someday. Oh. <laughs> That's right, we've made so many wonderful memories here, right Akimoto-kun? We sure have. No. Don't want to know about them. Really don't. I'm getting kind of hungry. Let's go to the public market. Oh, well we're going that way too. You think they'll be okay? As long as they keep their heads low, but I wouldn't count on that. Who, uh, who are they? Was it's he going like, to be in the sub -story. keep their heads low? Have we met them in the main story? This is where having two weeks off is a really bad idea. I mean, it's not for like mental health and being able to go on holidays and everything else, but. I feel like we met him in the main story then, but I just can't remember where. Oh, hang on a minute. Is he the guy? Right, hang on. Is he the guy that we met? The little meeting with, uh, oh God, Saki Chan's adopted dad, the granddad guy, whose name I also forget. Uh, when he met up with Daigo, is he the, the minister guy? No, he can't. No. He can't no. be the minister guy, can he? No. No. Ignore me. <laughs> carry on. Let's just carry on. Right, I'm going straight to this market. We're not buying anything. Doing any sub stories. We're going to freaking Camarocho in this episode if it kills me. Yeah, his uh, Yakuza suit doesn't really fit in. No, it Yuki, doesn't, does, does it? it? Oh, fine. I like that before fights they have the little um, sort of comments that they make. Yeah. Does he have a golf club? He does. Oh god. Does somebody have a gun? Uh, no, I think that might have been sound effects and scenery. Woo! Nice. I did the job. Oh, uh, I thought you were someone else. Here, take this and leave me alone. You've got a gross, squishy ball. Right. Um. Are you gonna need that? I don't know. I'm just gonna like get rid of this sort of stuff for now, or send it to the item box for now. I don't know what I'm gonna need when. Let us know in the comments what we should just be chucking in the item box for now. Uh, this way? Here. Into there, yep. I have a lot of stuff to get so you can wait here. Or maybe go upstairs, I think there are supposed to be some good restaurants up there. Sure, let's take a look. Uh, where are the stairs? <laughs> where are the stairs? Maybe the yellow, oh no, the um... Hang on. In the middle there, this bit. Yeah, they look like stairs. What I want to know is why have so many people walked over, like, hunched over? Like, I know... I know there's old people, but it seems to be a bit of a, like, stereotype. To have them all walking hunched over. Those yeah, two again. There they are. That was delicious, wasn't it, Mizuki-chan? Yeah, I feel bad for making you pay for all this food, though. Bet you don't. 
Come on, it's no problem at all. After all, being here with you is priceless to me. Aww. Oh, she's such a gold digger. Where to next? The casino. Mm. Souvenirs. I think there's a place called Stone Market out on the main street. Maybe they'll have something there. Mm. Hmm. Looks like they're heading to Stone Market. This vacation seems surprisingly normal. Maybe I should check in on them over there just in case. Yeah, I want to see where that goes. So what, do we just go back downstairs now? Find Haraka? Like, I don't know where I'm going. Let's go this that. way. Nope. How do I get out of this place? So it was at the top, wasn't it? Top of the map. Oh. I think. What's going on there? That is the fish dude, I oh, believe. Oh, it is, yes. And I don't think we've got enough money now to do anything. I'm back, Uncle Kaz. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. Not at all. That should be enough to last us for like three days. Where's the food? Oh, I bought so much they said they'll bring it over for me. Come ah, cool. On. Click and collect sort of thing. Okay, I didn't even know they offered that kind of service. I don't think they do normally. Um, that's nice. Yes, please let us go to the airport. This is all very unnecessary seeming. Hmm. Okay, so we've got to take Haraka to the monorail. Uh, I don't know what the deal is with um, with those other guys, but... I'm sure it'll become clear. I'm sure it will become clear. Yeah, there's the green marker on the map, which is where you're going to see more about it, I'm sure. Let's get some bubble tea while we're here. Just a little topper while we're here. Fair enough. Hmm. Hmm. There they are. There they are. Those two again. Let me guess, he's paid for everything. Yeah. Thank you so much. This makes me so happy. But of course, my love, after all, they're all mementos of the first vacation we ever, ever spent together, and probably the last. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should buy more then. <laughs> hey, they're actually doing pretty well. Yeah, looks like there was no need to worry. Really? So how about we head back to the hotel and get a little more comfortable? Oh, um... What's wrong, Mizuki-chan? I, um, I think I forgot something at the beach. Can I run back and get it? Of course. I can handle it by myself, don't worry. I'll meet you back at the hotel. Don't be ridiculous, I'm coming too. But I need to take all this to the pawn shop. I mean, it's my fault for being such a dummy. I'd feel bad if I dragged you along. Oh. Right, okay. Uh, <sighs> Called it. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. So we're going back to Morning Glory. Guys, when does this game actually start? Well, I don't think you have to. Oh, Oops. Jesus. That's a bus. <laughs> I don't have to, but... Are you going to? I'm going to. <laughs> if you get the option to, you're going to, are you? Yeah. Isn't your flight soon, Uncle Kaz? Those weird people said they were going to go to our beach, though. I'm kind of worried. Go to Morning Glory or to go to the airport. I don't want to leave a guy in a shit situation. I feel like we should go to Morning Glory. Go on, now. We're going to Cavarocho if it kills me. <laughs> so she goes to Morning Glory. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Cat, you are purring so loudly. If you're getting that in the microphone, then apologies. Unless you like it, in which case, no apologies. Oh. Um, they're not here. I hope they're going to be okay. What's wrong, Koji? Hey, did you see the couple that was swimming here earlier? Yeah. Looked like they were really happy together. Don't know about that. 
pretty sure they were fighting about something. Don't know. They walked off down the beach before I could hear what was going on. Yes, we should go. Yeah, yeah, let's go check yeah. on them. It's like, nah, we'll just leave them to it. Hey, <laughs> did you see that? Yeah, I hope they're alright. Shouldn't we help them before it gets out of hand? Ah, uh, he's gonna try and... <laughs> Should have known it'd end up like this again. Would kind of help if I could remember who you were. I knew you were lying to me. Wait, you have to believe me. No, not this time. I'm not falling for this again. Hey, cut it out. Yeah, let's all take a deep breath and talk it out. No, I finally see what's going on here. Mizuki-chan has been swindling me from the very start. Hold on, didn't you just get engaged? Yeah, just as I thought it was finding time to make her my one and only. I realised she was only ever after my money. She was never planning to marry me. You've got it all wrong, Akimoto-kun. Oh, unless she's being, like, blackmailed or something. Mm. Do you have any proof? Yeah, the first time I thought something was wrong was when we were flying down here. I went out of my way to buy expensive tickets for us, but Mizuki-chan cancelled her ticket and bought a cheap one instead. Have I been played? She's not a gold digger. She's actually been swindled by someone else. Mm. Because of that, I had to sit next to this smelly old lady the whole way. I, um... You got the ticket reimbursed and took le leftover cash for yourself, didn't you? There's a reason I did that, I swear. Uh, why would I, uh, what? <laughs> it was a pair of very... She probably wasn't feeling well. I don't know. Oh. <sighs> like the hotel, why, why do we, we have, have to get, get separate, separate rooms? rooms? Well, the truth is, my mum found out we were going on this trip. She said she didn't want me to sleep in the same room as you until we got married. Uh, hoping for some action. <laughs> <laughs> she probably couldn't say no to her mum. I thought if my mum got mad, she might completely change her mind about our marriage too. Still, I'm having a really hard time trusting you. I mean, we're engaged, but you don't ever wear your ring. Why not? Well, the truth is, I don't actually like diamonds. I watched a documentary about people in foreign countries who die in the horrific conditions of diamond mines. I couldn't bear to wear a diamond after that. Uh... uh... That's honourable. Okay. I'm still wondering whether she's just. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure where this well is going. Because she said about taking stuff to the pawn shop. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I wish I'd known. Maybe you could wear it for me every now and then. Her, but I already pawned. I mean, I put it on for you once we get back to Tokyo. Mm. Hold on, I'm not done. What about those documents we signed when we got engaged? What were those about? Prenup. Life insurance? Oh. I was just worried that if something happened to you, I'd... Why are you the beneficiary on the contract when we're not even married yet? Hmm. Even if you die, it'll all be okay. For her. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, she's totally trying to get the life insurance. Yeah. Wow, she's cold. Remember when you told me you were pregnant? When's the baby due? It's been two years. How on earth are they pregnant if they've not had any action? Turns out I was wrong. I wasn't actually pregnant. Did they? Yeah, they didn't do anything together, though. She must really want kids with you. <laughs> Why are we going along with this shit? I have no shit? idea. This is all a bit weird. Don't be sad. There's one more thing I have to ask you. What is it? Do you really love me? What are you saying? Of course I do. Then let's get married right here, right now. 
Sorry, I can't do I, that. I can't do that. <笑>しんぼうしてんすよ。秋元君のことは大好きだけど。でもやっぱり兄弟で結婚はできないわ。そう。そんな。水木ちゃんが僕の妹だったなんて。じゃあ僕たちは一生席を入れられないのか。<
All you gotta do is spill your heart out, press that big red update button and voila! Now then, keep your eyes tuned on that scooter and get ready to be inspired. Is this really going to work? Guess I'll find out soon enough. When you see something interesting, get close and press R3 to enter first person mode. If the look message appears in the top right, inspiration is just a camera flash away. Then hit the right buttons at the right time to take photos. If you successfully take all three photos, you'll have the opportunity to prove what you've learned. Choose the right answer to gain the revelation. What? What? Look. Hmm? Oh, uh, um. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the? F uh, what? Leap, flip, and stick the landing. Magnificent. Uh, what? Leap, flip, and stick the mat landing looks pretty good. Ah. I didn't know that was going to be a thing I had to pick. You only really said about it. Oh, did it? Yeah. Okay, so pick the best sort of status update to go with. Oh, Are you going to learn something for it? Move. Oh, this is an interesting way of doing it. Revelations. I've got a little blog. Here we go. Hey there, Kazuma here, starting this blog about these things called revelations. Inspirations I get from some of the crazy things that happen around town. Ah, now I have an amazing move to make use of my surroundings. You the learned essence the essence of jumping. jumping. This is a really <sighs> random way to do it, but I like it. Ah, she learned something, thanks for the tip. You know, I think you might be the guy who finally takes the perfect shot I've been after all these years. What do you mean, perfect shot? That's the thing, I don't know what it is. I've touched hearts and minds with my photos, but I've never been satisfied with my work. So I guess the perfect shot would be something that touches me just like I touch those other people. Huh, makes sense. Glad it does to Kiryu, because... <laughs> anyway, I'm off to travel the world, the cliffs of Machu Picchu, uh, if, you, if that's how you say it, the splendour of Angkor Wat, the natural grandeur of the Norwegian fjords. Who knows where inspiration will strike? Oh, and I won't believe in you in the dark either. I'll shoot you an email if I hear of anything that might lead to a revelation. Well, that's I was, good. I was going to say, like, how am I meant to remember to spot things? Like, yeah. You'd need some sort of hint, yeah. really, because you need to be in first-person mode the whole time, otherwise looking around. Hmm? Well, you can't move in first-person mode. Oh, even better. <laughs> well, that was something. Tai Chi. Yo, Uncle Kaz. What do you want? I just want to catch the plane. Nothing. Izumi just keeps complaining she's bored. Oh, no. come Fuck on. Fuck off, kids. I'm leaving. I'm going. <laughs> no pressure. No, screw it. I'm leaving you. I'm going on that freaking jet plane. <laughs> you are joking. Is this just trolling us? Is this game trolling us for real? Like. Oh, for, oh, for God's sake. Oh, it's a hostess. And we're just standing Ooh. in the middle of the zebra crossing. Oh, she's kind of cute. Oh, and I'm just standing. Whoops. Someone, that's, that'll be Mac, probably. There you Mac's go. back. Uh, Japanese is kind of tough. My girlfriend's been teaching me, but I just end up using all sorts of weird words. Hope you don't mind if I unleash some of my practice on you. Anyway, I'll hit you up whenever I get some sweet deets on the perfect shot. Okay, cool. Great. I quite like her. I think she'd be good. Do we think she's better than the chick in the bar that we saw? Let's look. If you look at her, you'd be able to. She takes care of herself fairly well, and I sense that she's really smart. Yeah, I think she's a winner. You know what? Go for it. Yeah, let's do it. And she says, "No." <laughs> 
Sorry to interrupt whatever you're doing, but... Oh, are you talking to me? Yep. Yeah. You see, I was minding my own business when all of a sudden I find myself drawn to your overwhelming this beauty. sounds like a ridiculous pickup line. No, you really mean that? Of course I do. Now, I'm sure you get this all the time, but have you ever been interested in working as a hostess? No, actually, you're the first one who's asked. And yeah, I guess I'd be open to it. All right. Would you mind coming by our club? I'd be more than happy to explain the details there. Okay. I'm Kiri, 22 years old and looking to broaden my horizons. It's really nice to meet you. She's going to be perfect. <laughs> so far, it seems that way. Likewise. Let me show you the way. Right, we're going to the club then. <laughs> Welcome to our club. Why am I saying it like that? We specialise in helping our hostesses reach the top of the industry. But first we need to decide on a stage name for you. Something that would fit the persona you want to project. That'll do. That's a good name. <laughs> <laughs> it's her actual name. Where do I start? Let's get you changed into an outfit worthy of your grace and charm. See, as soon as you walk out that door, you'll be reborn as a head-turning queen of the night. Oh my god, let's do this. How long have we got? <laughs> We're on 30 minutes. We're not getting to Camarocho. I like the gorgeous dress. Oh, she looks kind of cute in the purple, though. I'm going to put her in the purple. Looks good to me. <laughs> her motivation has just gone up. That's a good sign. Okay. Oh, there's a time thing. That... That makes me nervous. Oh, is that the new girl? Yeah, and you are? I'm Aya. Oh, and you must be the new guy. I guess that makes me your senpai. Hmm, I suppose I, sh I should teach you the tricks of the trade to help this job go smoothly. Otherwise, I wouldn't be much of a senpai now, would I? When it comes to doing well as a hostess, customer satisfaction is everything, right? That's why it's important to get a grasp on the customer's preferences and do your best to satisfy them. You should be able to get an idea of what the guests want when you walk the floor. Anyway, just get out there and see what you can learn. Use your eyes and ears. So you're saying I should gather information and coordinate Kiri's attributes and appearance. That way she can better satisfy the customers. Yep. Do your best, don't get stressed. Uh, what now? Get a feel for your customers' preferences by walking around the club. Then return to the break room and coordinate your hostess to fit their ideal image. Okay. We got this. Uh, I want to be floored by how gorgeous my girl is. So who do I talk to? Any gorgeous girls around here? Right. Well, a nice, nice gorgeous, gorgeous girl, girl to come to sit on my lap. lap. Any gorgeous girls? So how long do I do this for? I guess you just sort of go around and see if if that's the general feeling. That then. seems to be the general feeling, doesn't it? Should we go with gorgeous then? She should be drop dead gorgeous. Right, fine. So just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Pretty so much. put her in the gorgeous dress. Yeah. Because that'll, of course, make all the difference. So do I talk to her? She doesn't seem to have any customers because she's not in the gorgeous dress. Yeah. Um. Do I go back into the... Fine for now. Do I go back into here? I'm not sure. Enter. Yeah, yeah, I think I go back in there and change her. Way things work around here is our girls go out onto the floor a total of three times to serve customers. Each service is followed by a break. During that time, you can train your hostess of choice and coordinate their appearance. Okay. So we're going to dress her as a gorgeous... Um, okay. hairstyle. I feel like the loose curls is probably quite a good look. Let's go with the loose curls. Oh. This is costing money, by the way. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. Oh my god, I'm going to be here forever. Glitter eyeshadow. What's that? On. Yeah. Um. 
Oh, I love it! There we go. Oh, I don't know. That'll do. Right. Let's give her um, a necklace. Nails, obviously. Gorgeous, Gorgeous nails. nails. Give her a ring. Heart. Oh god, this is costing me a fortune! Give her some earrings and leave it there. Yeah, we'll match with the heart. Cool, let's finish. That'll do. Oh my god, that's costing me like everything I have. Yeah, fine, continue with that. She doesn't look Please too happy about that. Look. Yeah, she doesn't look too thrilled about that outfit I've just picked for her. You just whacked a stress right up. Have I? Yeah, that's all you've managed. Oh shit. Yeah, she's not gone towards gorgeous at all oh, on the scale. Oh, bollocks. Oh, well, we're kind of screwed now, aren't we? Oh, well. I guess because I've spent a load of money on her and... Uh... She still doesn't have customers. None of the women here are gorgeous. Shit. Ah, fuck. I fucked it up! Um, I, uh, I don't know why I'm talking to you again. Uh, okay, let's just leave that, because she's probably not going to get dress up. You've got 7,000 yen. Oh, I'm not doing very well, am I? Revert. Yeah. That is the original outfit oh, now. Oh, shit. Well, how do I make oh, her look more, oh. more gorgeous? I don't know. Um, kind of worried, like, description. Okay. Where's the gorgeous one? I don't know. I mean, I've got the gorgeous dress on. Eyebrows, is that gonna make a difference? The cutest girl. Oh, I don't know. I've gone with kind of cutesy, haven't I? Mm-hmm. Damn it. Maybe take those off and see if it changes things. Well, yeah, because we've got the gorgeous nails, haven't we? So we take the earrings off. Might reduce her stress. That's high class. Let's go with none for now and just see if it... A gorgeous watch. Oh, oh wow. Okay. I mean, I don't have much money. I, I don't know what I can really finish. She still looks pretty stressed. Chip, yeah. cheer up! I've just given you pink hair and an amazing dress. What more do you yeah, want? It's got the stress has gone way up. Oh dear. Oh well, I'm fucking this up. <laughs> Can I just oh, leave? Oh dear. Well, there you can. Oh well. All right. Well, we're sort of screwed, aren't we? Whoops. Haven't scoped out the club yet. Well, they're all saying there's no gorgeous women. Yeah, got it. Okay. Yeah, we get it. And she's not gorgeous enough for you. We well, talk to the other guy as well, because. Which guy? The uh, waiter dude. What, again? Yeah, I don't know if that was the trigger. What's around here? Nothing. Toilets. I don't know if that's the trigger. Maybe if he'd actually gone into those parts, that would have given you a clue about what he needed advice. to do. Yeah, maybe. Cool. 
Great. I did shit. <laughs> Let's see what sort of money you got. Oh, you got that. Oh, I got some sales. I made 3,000 yen. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Good. <laughs> oh, that's not as fun as the, um, was it? Which one was I obsessed with? Uh, you did one zeros. Two, you did zero? zeros one forever. I remember. Must be the zero one. Right. Anyway, let's just get to this airport. Well, you've got to go back to Morning Glory first. Do I? Yeah. No, I don't have to. I don't think. I think I can ignore them. Well, let's see what happens when you get to the monorail then. Is this the right way? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think I can ignore them. I'm gonna try to because I'm fed up of. You leave me alone, dude. Okay. Uh, you can just go to the I'm airport. I'm going to go to the airport. Let's just get out of here. Finally! Meanwhile, in Minato, Tokyo... Is that someone being... No, okay. it's a punch bag. Who's this guy? Future boss, by the looks of it. Yep. Either our main guy, or... How you doing? チェアマン。先ほど柏木様より That voice is very familiar. Hmm. Same voice actor as one of the Kawami or Kawami 2? Baddies? It's not Kuze, is it? As in the voice actor for Kuza. Shitosamano その隣の店も全部うちに金入れるって言ってんだ。好きに100万。100万。あんたらが今まで日本人からぼったくった分からやすりや。安いもんだ。何大なくなったら店の権利書もらうだけだ。あんたには別の店でコックとして働いてもら
シンさんの料理がうまいって評判じゃねえか<笑>おやじ本家からの呼び出しです六代目の件で話があると That's Daigo, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's you. So, don't do it. Scotton. こわがらせるようなことしてすまなかったな。ちんさんよ。これは迷惑料だ。取っておいてくれ。うん。俺はちんさんと一緒に仕事がしたかっただけなんだよ。悪かったな。邪魔して。あ、ドロップなブリーフ
Okay, so they're linked to each other. Ah, oh, so they're trying to get Daigo's spot. Mm -hmm. So this is after Daigo's been shot. Mm -hmm. yep. And they're all trying to vie for the chairman position. Ah, so he's calling him an Iki, but he doesn't mean it really. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. And he's back. Finally. Why do I feel like Ricky is just going to suddenly appear as well? I, I hope he does. I kind like... of, yeah. I kind of like those guys together. I think they've got a bit of banter going on. So, like, ah, oh, here I am again, back home. Stardust. Oh. Uh, that's not... Okay. Hmm. I think you might be going to find out what that is. Yeah. I'm going to get loads of tutorial things probably popping up in a minute. Something's going on at Stardust. Might want to drop in before I go see Kashiwagi-san. Text message. There's a text message. Can I save? Is there a phone box anywhere? No, it looks like you're going straight into that because all the save points are blocked. That I can see. Oh god, they are, aren't they? In you go. In I go. There's a shiny. Where's that shiny? Move out of the way. Ah, the Camarocho lockers. Right, let's do this. You can take your cash and shove it. Oh yeah, you is still there though. Yeah, and what's his face is back? Kazuki's back. I don't have that much in the way of like health stuff. I better not die because I haven't saved for like the whole time either. Kiryu-san! The fuck are you, pretty boy? Oh god. That's the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan, Kazuma Kiryu. Uh, I don't think he's gonna back off. Open those ears real good. Don't know what you're strolling in here for, but let me set the record straight. Me and these gentlemen, we're just having a friendly little chit chat. Not a suspicious thing about it. Cross my heart and hope to die. So why don't you go running along home? Kazuki, what's going on? This guy came in and started saying he wanted to buy the club. Who are you, anyway? Hasebi, captain of the Nishikiyama family. You know, the one resting control of this whole damn city. What? We just want to borrow your pal's club for a bit. We're playing nice now, but you don't want to see what happens when we don't. Why do you need the club? Well, that just doesn't even deserve an answer. Now scram. It's just for a month. I think I know what you want it for. You're going to turn this place into your base of operations for a Yakuza war. Guess you don't survive this long in Kamurocho without knowing it's how its shadier side operates, huh? I also know who your target is. The Kazuma family. What? You're one smart cookie. But not smart enough to accept our offer. We've got other ways of convincing you if you need that little push. Oh, God. I should have saved. Shit. You couldn't save, so it's I fine. I couldn't, but I could have, like, not gone into the whole airport thing. Better not die. Yeah, <laughs> You haven't done much fighting in this episode, so. Great. Oh shit! 
Shit. It's alright, he's giving you his lackeys. Oh fuck! Yeah, but then it'll be him. Oh, I've got sweaty palms. Oh no, no it's and him, him as well. well. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> so you run into the door. <laughs> That's the way to do it. <laughs> oh god. Yep, that's one of them down. Yep. Well, avoid him. Yep. Yep. Sorry, I'm not saying much because yeah. I really do not want to die right now. You're fine. You're good. They're not hitting that hard. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, I love it. Come on. Nice. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. <laughs> ah, ah. Stay away from the ball then. Guys, you could help nice. me out a bit here. Oh, shit. Um, oh, oh, God. Oh, fuck. Should have kept my Chinese broads. Oh shit! Should have kept my Chinese broadsword out for now. Inventory is full. Okay. Oh crap! This is where I die. Yeah, well, you've got you've got stuff like a charge your heat up, and you could use one of those. Yes, and then you'd be that able to would pick be a up. really good idea, wouldn't it? Right. If I remember correctly. Not very much. Charges up your heat. There you go. Well, if I don't just run straight into stuff. If you knock him over, you'll be able to do a heat. Yeah, action. but it's trying to knock him over. Oh god. Oh, Good fuck shot. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? Are they they're actually really, doing... They're, ow! They're doing fuck all. Come on, floor lamp. Do something useful. Okay, don't die. Don't die. Okay, okay, okay. Now oh, what? here we go. Ooh. R2. Uh, oh, Whack R2. Quickly, 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 quickly. Ah! It's actually... Not... No. Okay. Fuck. That did fuck all. Right, if he's down, I'm gonna use my. Oh, he's not. Oh god. Whoo. Uh, actually, I'm gonna use that one. Let's grab a floor lamb. Oh, I could have used the. Ah. Right, can I grab something useful? Because then I can... Oh! There was a heat action Yeah, I know. Ah. Oh. He's got... He's out. He's got rid of his sword somehow. Oh, I keep missing the heat action. There we go. Yes. Stamp on his face. Pick up the cabinet, or maybe no, I can't pick it up. I can just um. Oh come on! 
these bosses really do block and load. Stamp on his face. And again. You guys are doing sweet fuck all. Got him. <sighs> and now they realise, oh shit, we shouldn't have messed with you. Nice crotch shot there. <laughs> yep. Yes, I am. <laughs> Even if I can't aim a blooming light thing. Why? Shit, we need to get over to um, Kashiwagi. Millennium Tower. Yes. yes. But wait, because you'll probably kick the next let's, chapter Let's off. leave it there, yeah, because <laughs> the next chapter will be starting. I'm worried about Kashiwagi. Shit. I'm also worried that the squish has woken up and like we just can't hear her because she's just been in her buggy downstairs. So we will leave it there for this episode. <laughs> Join us next time for more Yakuza 3. Bye. See ya.